You guys are screaming for a Ragnarok video. In this video, I will show you two methods to enable frame generation on God of War Ragnarok. Make sure to watch the whole video without skipping. It will save you a lot of time. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I always upload these kinds of videos. Make sure to ring that bell icon so you can be the first to watch my videos again. Thank you. The first method is OptiScaler frame generation, known as OptiFG. It's an external frame generation method without any HUD flickering or ghosting. The second method is DLSS frame generation. In God of War Ragnarok, you can get a huge FPS boost if you have a low-end GPU like mine just by lowering shadows. This is FSR 3.1 with frame generation and shadows set to low. Look how many FPS I'm getting, around 116, right? When I use medium, look at my VRAM usage. It's 15% or more higher than low, and there's basically not a lot of graphical improvement when going from low to medium but my FPS is significantly lower. It's close to a 40 FPS difference. So low-end PC users, make sure to lower the shadow settings to get some much-needed FPS boost without compromising graphics. In-game FSR 3.1 frame generation is not that bad. There is noticeably better performance and improvements after the previous updates. This is the latest update, 1.8. So let's see how we can install FSR 3.1.3 frame generation. Before we install the mod, make sure to turn off the in-game FSR frame generation. Turn off VSync. Go down and turn off motion blur. I did turn off film grain, but it's not necessary. The required file will be in the video description. Download it and extract it. Inside, you will find three folders. Some of you guys said that your game files were corrupted after installing these mods. These are the stock files that OptiScaler replaces. At the end of the video, I will show you how to uninstall this and what to do with these files. Go to your God of War file location, open the OptiScaler file, extract it to the game location and replace it. Open the OptiScaler setup.bat file. To use DXGI, press 1 and enter. If you have AMD, press 1. If you have Nvidia, press 2. OptiScaler is now installed. For AMD users, open the fake NVAPI file and extract this file into the game folder. I'm not going to do this because I have an NVIDIA GPU. Find your optiscaler.ini file and search for NVAPI. In this NVAPI category, set override NVAPI DLL to true. Save and close the file. Now open your game. When using Optiscaler, do not use any FPS overlays other than Optiscaler's built-in FPS overlay. To access the Optiscaler menu, press the insert key. Go to FPS Overlay and tick the Overlay Enable option. Set the background alpha to max so you can see the FPS clearly. We are using DLSS, but we need to use FSR 3.1.3. When I use DLSS, my FPS is 54. When I use FSR 3.13, I get 68 to 70 FPS. That's close to a 16 FPS uplift. To enable frame generation, tick the FG Active option. Now my FPS is looking good, but my HUD is flickering. To fix that, tick the HUD fix option. If you want some extra FPS, turn on async. This won't give a huge FPS boost, and it depends on your hardware. As you can see, the HUD flicker is gone now. You might feel some input lag, but it's not unplayable. Some users said that the game looks blurry when they use OptiScaler. To fix that, enable RCAS and motion adaptive sharpness. Tick Override Sharpness setting and Increase Sharpness. I usually set sharpness to 0.5. Not too sharp, not too blurry. Uh, to check if the HUD fix is working properly, open the OptiScaler menu and enable Debug View. At the middle bottom, you shouldn't see any HUD. In the middle and right, you shouldn't see any color differences. That means the HUD fix is working. After configuring everything in the OptiScaler menu, save changes using the Save INI button. This way, you won't have to do it every time you open the game. <laughs> to enable DLSS frame generation, follow the same steps as FSR 3.1.3. Open the game location. Copy this file to where you installed OptiScaler before. Open the optiscaler.ini file. 
In the frame gen section, set FG type to nuke MS. If you just tested OptiFG, set this to auto or false to prevent both frame generation methods from running at once. The game will not work if both are enabled. Save the file and open the game. Now, when you go to graphics settings, you'll see DLSS frame generation enabled. DLSS frame generation has a slightly lower FPS than FSR 3.1.3 frame generation, but the input lag is noticeably lower. It feels much more responsive and actually really good. Getting these ingredients, feeding your animal. To uninstall OptiScaler, go to the game installation location. Find and run the remove OptiScaler.bat file. Press Y to remove OptiScaler. This will not remove everything. You must manually delete the DLSS files, the AMD FidelityFX VK file, and the OptiScaler.ini file. To restore the game to stock, go to the downloaded file. Drag the stock files into the game folder and replace them. That's it. Until the next video, adios amigos.